So some people keep saying that their TV is bright enough, they don't see the need for brighter TVs, or that they need to wear sunglasses to watch a high nit TV because it's so bright. In this video, I'm going to measure the peak brightness of some objects in the real world to give you some perspective. This is the Konica Minolta LS100 luminous meter, and we're going to measure the nits of some of the objects we can find in my back garden. It is not the sunniest day, there is some sun, but it is not blazingly bright, unlike Florida or Dubai. So let's kick things off by walking across here and pointing the luminance meter at one of the more reflective objects I can find here. So this is an up-down light, metallic, and if I can try and switch on the luminance meter and then point it at the object, the reflections, and then try to take a quick measurement. And you can see here it is 2800 nits. Okay, and then what we're going to do is to walk across here and point the luminance meter at the bell. I'm not even sure I'm hitting the right spot. Story of my life, really. And it's 3300 nits. Okay. And then if we can walk across here and point it at these flowers here, and they are not even reflective, but you know, just for the sake of measurement, we'll just measure the nits here. You can see that it is easily 530 nits. And then if I look up here, there are some shiny pendants just randomly pointed it, take a snapshot, 1800 nits, right. And I'm going to walk across to this part of the garden that doesn't get hit by sunlight directly. And let's take a quick measurement of these reflections of the door handle. Easily 2000 nits, right? <laughs> so and we'll try to take a quick measurement of these grasses here. But, oh, the sun has come out a bit. So what we'll do is we'll walk across here in the shade, take a measurement of this grass, 242 nits. And just to show you that the meter is not broken, you know, it is not giving us the wrong reading, I'm going to poke this tool through this bush here and then take a quick measurement and it is 13 nits you know which is probably fairly dark in the grand scheme of things in an outdoor garden so are you surprised by these figures let us know in the youtube comment section below hopefully this little exercise has demonstrated that the peak brightness of current consumer televisions be them oled or qled comes nowhere close to reproducing the full dynamic range of real life and that high nit TV doesn't necessarily mean that the whole screen will be very bright, just that small spots or specular highlights can sparkle to a degree that injects more realism to your HDR viewing experience. For more of our HDR comparison videos, please click here for our playlist, and I will see you in the next video.